Solving equations using only abstract numbers and symbols can leave some students confused. Algebra tiles help students to visually understand how to solve linear equations. Let's look at some linear equations to see how algebra tiles can help when solving them. First, an equation that shows how we can remove tiles from both sides. The equation x plus 7 equals 3x plus 1 has positive x terms and positive number terms on both sides. We can use the tiles to represent the equation separating the two sides of the equation with a line. It might be helpful to put an equal sign on the line too. Subtracting terms from both sides of the equation can be shown by removing tiles. It is important to see how the equation changes as this happens. We can remove an x term from each side and write the new equation below. We can also take one from both sides and write the new equation. The final step is to arrange the tiles into two equal groups, two being the number of x's. This shows a solution of x equals 3. Now let's look at using the tiles to create zero pairs. The equation 2x minus 3 equals 6 minus x involves negative terms, so the red side of the tiles can be used. Where there is a negative x, we can make a zero pair by adding x to both sides. The zero pair has no value and can be removed. We can now write the new equation. Zero pairs can also be created on the left-hand side by adding three yellow one tiles to both sides. The zero pairs can be equated to zero and removed. This gives the new equation 3x equals 9. The final step is to arrange the tiles into three equal groups, three being the number of x's, showing a solution of x equals 3. In this next example, let's look at an equation that includes brackets. Algebra tiles can be used to represent the x plus 2 expression inside the brackets three times. We can then write the equation with the brackets expanded. We can simplify the left-hand side of the equation by identifying and removing zero pairs. We can now write a simplified equation. We can remove the unwanted number on the right-hand side by adding one to both sides, creating another zero pair. Let's remove these two tiles as they equate to zero. We can now write a new equation step. Finally, let's look at an equation that has a negative solution. 8 subtract 2x equals 2 subtract 4x. We can use algebra tiles to represent the equation. There are many ways to solve this equation. One strategy is to subtract two negative x tiles from each side and two one tiles from each side. There are several ways to arrive at the solution from this point. Dividing by 2 will give 3 equals negative x. 
The final step could be to multiply both sides by negative 1. This can be shown by flipping all the tiles to give the solution. Let's recap the ways that we can use algebra tiles to help us when solving linear equations. Watch these videos to learn more about the other ways that we can use algebra tiles in Key Stage 3 mathematics.